color shift adjustment tool is probably one of the coolest but yet most misunderstood keys on the palette. Well, let's take a look at this image here. We've got a nice outdoor image, uh, but we've got a lot of green surrounding. You can see we've got a lot of rocks. There's um, green trees in this area. So we've got a lot of different colors of light actually bouncing around. Well, the area of particular concern is, is if we look down in here, you can see where our shadows are very, very green. Digital is very, very sensitive to that. You can also see that we've got it up in this area in here. Well, with the color shift adjustment, it's actually very, very easy to correct that. All I'm going to do is double click on the key and it hands me a brush. We're actually painting in color mode and I'm going to use my Alt or Option key. I'm going to hold my Alt key to be able to sample. So what I want to do is I want to go up here and I'm going to sample on a flesh tone that I actually like. So we're going to sample it there and I'm going to look down here into my foreground and background color. I want to check my foreground color and make sure that it, that it is a color that I actually like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this area with a shadow, make my brush a little bit larger, and I'm just going to start scrubbing over this area. Now I haven't lifted my brush up yet. It's only going to add 10%. As soon as I pick my brush up and put it back down again, it adds a little bit more. Well, you're probably seeing just a very, very subtle little change taking place here, but what's happening in this whole area down here is we're actually warming that up. I'm going to go in here into this cheek area in here because we got some shadow areas there. And then we're going to come up right into here and I'm going to wipe over these areas around the eye. I want to stay away from the eye itself, but I want to work just in the shadows around that eye. So if I turn this layer on and off, you can look and see at the difference that we made. Look at how green it is down in here and up in here. You can see the green residing in the shadows there. There it is with a correction and there it is with it off. Just very, very quick and easy to be able to make that correction. Well, let's look at another way that we can use this here, and we can actually work up here in her hair. So you can see how she's got, obviously got dyed hair. We've got a natural color here, and we've got the dyed color coming out here. Women, not always real fond of the darker roots showing. So what I'm gonna do is, again, I've got the color shift adjustment tool selected, and this time I'm gonna take and I'm gonna sample here to be able to get this reddish tone. If you look here, you can see I've got now have a brown selected in this area. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start just painting in this area. And you can see how it's just adding in. Every time I'm picking up the brush, it adds just a little bit more. So in this case, I want to plunk it on a little bit heavier. So that's why I'm adding, uh, picking up the brush a whole lot more. And you can see how we're tinting those colors. The sample again, let's go over here, pick up a little bit brighter color. And we're going to go in and we can just add that in there. Now I've got highlights and you can see how we're tinting the, the shadow areas down here. But now what we've done is we've actually been able to take and bring it in to be able to add in this color. Let's sample here and paint. There we go. Now you can see how we've actually brought that color all the way back through into these roots. If we go ahead and turn this on and off, you can see how we're able to take and adjust that color. Let's back off and look at the image here so you can see the changes that we've actually made. There we go. Notice how we've cleaned up all again, all the tonal area in here and actually darkened all those roots using the color shift adjustment tool. We can actually work this hair in the opposite direction. Let's say we got into a situation where we could say where mom hates the hair. Now, keep in mind, if I'm doing this, this is things that we want to actually charge extra for. But in this case, we'll go back. We're going to double click on the color shift adjustment again. I'm going to hold the alter option key and I'm going to click on this brown tone here, the actual natural color of the hair. You can see it's reflected here in our foreground color. Well, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting this on. Well, it's going to take a lot to be able to neutralize that color here. So I'm going to hit my four key. And when I do that, it changes that to 40%. So now what we can do is now I can take and I can apply more of the color down into here into this area so you can see how I'm actually neutralizing it. Every time that I pick up the brush, it adds just a little bit more color. If we go over on this other side, you can see how we can go in there. We can start painting in the difference in the color. So now we're actually taking the red hair out and actually changing it to be able to shift. There we go. Now it looks like I got maybe there could be a little bit of color that's coming out here. All I have to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click out here and then I'm going to sample and then I can run along the edge if I let any of that redness actually bleed out of there. So there you can see where we actually took the red color out and shifted it back to the brown hair color.